What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So right today it's 12th of September 2020 and uh, a lot of changes happen all the time. I thought I was going to focus uh, actually on the uh, video about the two women who stole the MAGA cap of some little kid and of course the poster held by his mother. They were charged, uh, they're now being charged for a hate crime. They are under arrest. I think their mug shots is, uh, yeah, here they are. So uh, <laughs> that's that story. If you uh, haven't seen the video, you probably should. They are facing what could be up to 15 years. Of course, it's Delaware law. Hate crimes are not only crimes against someone because of their skin color, it is also crimes against someone because of, for example, uh, them using their freedom of speech and their opinion. But I thought I was going to talk, talk today about the Pennsylvania voter registration because I wanted to compare 2016 with 2020, more specifically November 2016 with uh, June 2020, which is the numbers we have here. So, in 2016, you had uh, 4,217,000 Democrats, 3,301,000 Republicans. And now, both have decreased. You have 4,092,000 Democrats, 3,290,000.9 Republicans. But what is significant is the decrease among Democrats is much, much bigger. If you look here, uh, Democrats have lost 124,000 registered Democrats in that state. Republicans have only lost 9,000. So that is quite significant. And there are, of course, more independents. Uh, well, as you might expect, in uh, the suburbs, re Republicans lose and Democrats gain. In Philadelphia, uh, Democrats have lost a lot, actually, which is maybe a surprise to some, not to others. Republicans have also lost in uh, Philly, and they have also, you know, lost much fewer than the Democrats, which is speaking volumes. And, of course, in the rest of the state, because I don't know what a leg henny is, in the rest of the state, Republicans have gained 45,000, which actually and nullifies their losses in the suburbs, and the Democrats have lost 120,000, which far exceeds their gains in the suburbs. So, in terms of voter reg registration, this is very good news for the Republican Party in Pennsylvania. Now, they are still doing bad in the suburbs, but they are actually improving in Philadelphia itself and in the vast rural parts of this state. Uh, also, I thought it was cool to compare with uh, compare Trump's victory with that of Romney and that of uh, Obama. Of course, Romney did not win, so it's uh, Obama 2012 and Obama 2008. Now, Obama won all of these places in 2008, and that's why they are counted. And a lot actually flipped to Romney. Uh, I was thinking mostly about uh, the suburbs of uh, Chester, because... They are significant. They actually went for Clinton again after that. The suburbs really did not like Trump. We all know that. Trump is doing bad in the suburbs. Uh, Romney did respectable. Not as good as Bush, but respectable. But I'm actually surprised also by the so many places in the state that are not the suburbs, like Northwest, Northeast, uh, different places that also voted for Romney, even though they voted for Obama four years prior. But as we all know, uh, Trump did very well in the rural parts of Pennsylvania, and uh, places that Obama had won, he actually won that one county, Luzerne, with Luzerne Wilkes Bar with 26,000 votes, and that's a county that Obama won by uh, 5,900 votes in 2012. So, yeah, not really a surprise, but I thought it was cool to point that out. Also, if you haven't seen it, I gotta show you this new ad by the Trump campaign. It is absolutely hilarious, and it features Biden and Trump on the debate stage. Let's take a look. First of all, where do you want to see the court take the country? And secondly, what's your view on how the Constitution should be interpreted? That's like saying you, before you got in this program, you take a test where you're taking cocaine or not. What do you think, huh? That's the question. Please, why, 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 everybody? Why, 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 Hold on just man. a moment, folks. Because we could, this is going to end up getting out of control. Let's try to keep it you quiet. So, but I for tell the you, candidates you have a problem the figuring people. out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. <gasps> I want to thank you no, both no, for participating. I mean, I, 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 now the decision is up to you. 
<laughs> what did I say? Absolutely hilarious. And I really hope that humor plays a big role in people's decision. Well, it probably doesn't, but who cares. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Please like this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. So long.